Hello everybody and welcome to the second episode of our NASCAR Heat 5 2023 my career here at the Auto Club Speedway for the Auto Club 400 as we get our little pre-race cinematic shots here of the field rolling by as we get our stories of the race we will get to that shortly as Austin Sindrick is really fast today he is your pole sitter Joy Logano, his Penske teammate, is also insanely fast today, so they both will be hard to beat today. And Corey LaJoy failed tech. He will be at the rear of the field. And, of course, you got myself here coming in 22nd after a decent qualifying effort, but it could have been better. So 22nd here in the number 54 Monster Energy slash Interstate Batteries Toyota Camry. And we're already spinning on lap 6 in Austin Cindric. We're crashing into the outside wall. The caution will come out. Myself and Austin Cindric go crashing as we hit the apron and we lose control of the car, slide up into Cindric and wipe both of us out. A classic rookie mistake here to sitting in too deep on the apron, spinning ourselves out and collecting the two of Austin Cindric, who is an innocent bystander. He gets collected. We both go crashing hard into the outside wall damage sustained to both of our vehicles so you sent in too deep we slid around we went and in the wall and there's your caution on lap six as we had charged up there inside the top ten here as we had just taken six there from Cindric is about for six and that's when we crash we're gonna have to pit we're gonna have to lose that track position we're gonna have to fight our way back to the front of the field so we come down parallel for the lap 10. We still restart 7. We're going 3 wide, 4 wide, 4 position. Trying to get up to the second. We get physical with bubble walls to handle the charge in the second. And then on 3 and 4, we're on lap 10 here. We're going to get our way to the inside of Joey Logano to fight for the race lead here at Auto Club. We're going to take the lead from Joey Logano and lead our first lap Auto Club. And Joey Logano goes flying back in our inside the next lap on lap 11 on the lap 12. Myself and Logano continue to battle for the lead here at Auto Club. An intense battle. Now we give him a little bit of a bump. He's going to get loose sideways. He's a what a save by Joey. Joey Logano, what a save, some contact, he makes an incredible save, keeps it going in the right direction, I'll have 13, we take second back from Bubba Wallace, we try to take the lead now from Ryan Blaney, the Penske cars have been our main adversaries today, as we're on the inside of Blaney, we're going to force our way into the lead, and we're going to take the lead back here at Auto Club, getting close to the end of stage one, clearing Ryan Blaney, now on lap 15, we come through to take the checkered flag to win stage one here in Auto Club over William Byron. Bubba Wallace and Ross Chastain and Ryan Blaney in the top five. So we are your stage one winner here in Auto Club. Back to back stage wins. Versus lap 21. There goes Ryan Blaney around. The 12 goes spinning through the grass. Blaney gets turned and he goes sliding right back up the track. And it, oh, he's going to get hit right there by Chase Elliott. And Blaney crashes. Unfortunate for Blaney. Now on the lap 30. We are now into the 6th position, making a pass by Kyle Busch and Reddick now into 5th. Now on the bumper, chest aim for 4th, there's some contact there on lap 31. We once again go on the inside of the 1 of Ross Chastain. This battle continues. Two of the most aggressive drivers in the business, Ross Chastain and myself. Now on lap 31, Joey Logano wins stage 2 over Byron Hamlin and myself in 4th, followed by Chastain in 5th. Now on lap 35, we're 3 wide for a second with Byron Hamlin. We get shoved up the racetrack a little bit by Denny. Get way up out of the groove. Have to lift. Allow Byron nearly get to our inside, but we fight for a second. Now down the back stretch of Denny Hamlin. We're going to go 3 wide for the lead into 3 and 4. We send it in underneath Joey Logano, and we're going to make it temporarily work. Taking lead from Logano, and then Chastain will fly by on the inside with Denny Hamlin. We're back to third. We're 4 wide for third. Oh my goodness, what a battle. Now on to lap 36. We're going to go 3 wide, 4 wide to try to get into second. There's some contact. Kyle Bush sideways, what a save! <clears throat> behind us by Kyle Bush. As they try to go low, we just pinch Kyle Bush, makes a little bit kind of he loses it behind us, he saves it somehow. We make a four wide pass for second, going by Byron Logano and Chastain. Now we're trying to go back to the lead here, fighting Denny Hamlin. Big contact made here on lap 36 between myself and them. We power back to the lead though with a big help from William Byron, giving us a huge shove down the front stretch. We will now go to the track and clear Denny Hamlin for the race lead here in Auto Club, continuing to have impressive performances in our first two career debuts. Lap 38, here's Justin Haley. Oh, he gets hit by Ross Chastain into the wall goes Haley he's crashing and we have a crash here for Justin Haley and Ross Chastain on lap 38 with 13 laps to go as looks what happened here is Chastain's correct down the race track, comes right back up and boom hits a 31 who gets hit off of Todd Gilland and Justin Haley nowhere to go gets taken out after having a pretty solid run going he will be all the way at the back of the field now on lap 39 we are making a pass for fourth here on the inside of the 23 of Bubble Wallace we make that pass happen now we're chasing down William Byron for third which on lap 40 here we are, three laps later, lap 43. We fight Byron here for third. We took that position. We're trying to catch up the leaders, and we're going to spin on the apron once again. Another rookie mistake. We slide through the apron. We save it. Keep it going through the grass. Think about pitting, say no. And then we're going to do what's called a bozo move here as we try to get a caution 
<clears throat> by going back into the field and trying to hit as many cars as possible to get two cars spun out so we can get a caution because I'm a bozo and this is kind of stupid. I should have just probably came down for a green flag pit stop. I probably would have been better off than what happens here is we just got loose here on the apron and we just slid down the racetrack. We saved it though. We saved it but these rookie mistakes are really costing us today and then whatever tomfoolery we're doing right here is just really unnecessary but it does get the caution out. It does get the caution out eventually. Once we get hit by the 38 of Todd Gillen is really when we, we, when we get the caution out. Right there, boom, head on. And that's when we get the caution. And so now we hit the caution flag. And uh, we want it, but really a whole crazy situation. We were in third and we just slid and spun around being too aggressive trying to catch up to Denny Hamlin and Joey Logano. And it cost us. It cost us everything. All our track position gone. So we're going to have to pay for repairs and everything. We're going to have to come from the back to first in just a limited amount of time if we want to win this race right now. It is close, but unfortunately not the way we wanted the race to play out today. Of course, we're here, we can come down the track and we're going to get lit up by Todd Gilland right, right, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, right about here. We're going to set up the racetrack and then we're going to come down and Todd Gilland's going to be right there and bang. That's when we get our caution. So, we get our caution here. And we get to the final restart here with five laps to go. We're going to have to move our way up from 37th to 1st in four laps. It's four laps to go. So we have to gain 36 spots in four laps if we want to get our first career win. This is going to be a hard fight. So we're behind the 10 of Eric Allen. We're giving him a big shot too. He's inside. Some contact made there. We get physical. Now we're going to the inside of Zane Smith and Riley Earps pulling guys three wide, making whatever moves we need to right now to get these positions that we so desperately need to try to get in position to get a win. Now on the inside of the 13 of Chandler Smith. The battle continues now. We're going to go to the inside of Harrison Burton in the 21. Go by Noah Gregson in the 42. As we power by, clear them. That would take 26 from BJ McLeod. As they're going to get the top 25 on the inside of Chase Elliott. Dance We're going to get physical. Make some contact with the 9 of Chase Elliott to get these positions. So we move by him. And now we chase down the 41 of Ryan Priest. We get some contact, though, with Priest after Stenhouse nearly turned us in the wall. And now into turn one and two here with three laps to go. We charge our way up into the top 20. We're going to give Austin Dillon a big shot right there. Because we had so much momentum as we sail by Eric Jones. And now on the other side of the corner, we'll be side by side with our good buddy Ross Chastain for 18th place. But we clear him and now sail off the inside of Austin Dillon. Of course, you know, our fresh tires now are faster than half the field. It's definitely going to help us charge through the field right now. We're coming to two to go. We go by Brad Keselowski. Now we're going to slide up the track right up in the 48 of Bowman. There's going to be some big contact. We're just going to use him as a, our brakes and use him co completely up and force ourselves by him for 15th place being very physical to get these positions late in the race now two laps to go here in auto club we get a huge run of the 17 of chris busher and we will now move into 14th going by the 17 into turn one and two now we send it low here gonna go by right by aj almendinger in the 13th place got a run gonna get by truex now we're into 12th place almost back in the top 10 if we can get a top 10 that'll still be a decent salvage finish but honestly we should be a top five finish today as you go to the inside of harvick and christopher bell that puts us now up into 10th place we're now inside the top 10 and we are trying to get our way by chase briscoe austin Cindric. there's some contact Cindric is gonna slide up the track and save it what a save by Cindric and briscoe though gets back on our inside here for eighth as we fight him for eighth position now coming to the white flag final laps are kind of bank here at auto club myself and chase briscoe fighting intensely for eighth place here when i thought we could be up there for the win where our teammate denny hamlin is looking to get the win here in auto club and lock himself into the playoffs to join your daytona 500 winner noah gregson as we clear chase briscoe for eighth place now down the back stretch trying to catch up to hamlin blaney byron logano reddick bubba wallace and kyle bush who are the top seven they're side by side ahead of us but we don't have quite enough draft to really make a super aggressive move here into three and four so we play conservative we try to get a little aggressive there at the yeah, but we're going to run out of time and back to the start finish line here at Auto Club. It's clear skies and clear space for Denny Hamlin who will win at Auto Club and we're going to come home for a very respectable 8th place finish but regardless a disappointing 8th place finish because of the rookie mistakes we had committed in the end here as this 8th just not quite the finish we should have got there. Uh, we had a very top five car and really did executed well except for those mistakes and uh, came home eighth. Denny Hamlin, your winner, William Byron, your runner-up, Ryan Blaney, Joy Logano, and Tyler Reddick round out your top five. And Kyle Busch, Bubba Wallace, myself, Chase Briscoe, and Kevin Harvick, the top ten here in Auto Club. Toyotas and Penske Fords, very, very strong today. And Denny Hamlin walks away victorious. He's in the playoffs, and you see now 11 through 20. Chris Rebell, Truex, Chastain in the top 15, Bowman, and Kozlowski narrowly get into the top 20. Here, 21 to 30. See Chase Elliott really struggling down 23rd. Suarez down in 26th. We did total 500 where Noah Gregson finishes 31st. And then DNS for Justin Haley and Kyle Larson in 38th and 39th. 
not the way they wanted their race to go. As Denny Hamlin wins the Auto Club 400 here at Auto Club. We come home in eighth place. And everybody likes the updated point standings. We now take the points lead with Denny Hamlin being second in the points minus by 15. And then is Ryan Blaney, Ross Chastain, Bubba Wallace, Noah Gregson, Austin Sindrick, Kyle Busch, Chase Briscoe, and Tyler Reddick. Your top 10 in points after two races. And below them, right now in the playoffs, would be Almendinger, Byron, Logano, Austin Dillon, Priest, Busher, and uh, Priest and Busher. First four drivers out would be Bell, Harvick, Truex, and Justin Haley. As now we go to see the post-race accolades. Fastest lap of the race. Myself, of course, once again, 39.75. Fastest lap of the race on the move. Uh, most laps led, sorry. It's going to be Joy Logano, who led 12 laps, probably narrowly beating myself, Denny Hamlin, among others. Chase Briscoe ended up being on the move, up 24 spots from 33rd to 9th. And a tough break is go to Kyle Larson. Once again, two races in a row, who starts 14th, finishes 39th, minus 25 spots on the day. A tough season start for Kyle Larson. As now we're going to look at the updated playoff grid after we get some post-race probably eight messages from the way we were driving towards the end of that race and you see here uh, we got nice some nice payouts some more fans as the huge here and now we got some hate mail from Ricky Stenhouse and Ty Gibbs of course Ty Gibbs is roasting us because he wants his ride back so you know what he can go shut up but <laughs> we give him compliments anyway to try to avoid making rivals here but we got two top tens in a row to start the season. Very solid, very consistent start. Next race up is Las Vegas. And now we look at the updated playoff grid here, where, of course, it is Denny Hamlin and Noah Gregson, your two winners, locked in the playoffs as of right now. Myself, of course, top on the points in third. And then Ryan Blaney, Ross Chastain, Bubba Wallace, Austin Sindrick, and Kyle Busch looking solid. Top eight in points. And below them, Chase Briscoe, Tyler Reddick, Almendinger, Byron Logano, Austin Dillon, Priest, and Busher in. First guys out are Bell, Priest, Truex, Haley, and LaJoy. So until the next episode, I hope you all have a good one.